The 2D lamps. Yeah, they're a nightmare. You get them in all sorts of light fittings like this. And then if they do actually come on, yeah, they don't last forever. They glow a little bit at the end and yeah, you know they're on the way out. And if you were lucky enough to have a lamp all in one piece and working, they wasn't that fantastic in the first place. The most common areas that these 2D lamps are found are in communal areas in flats. And whenever you walk in a flat, there's always one or two flickering or maybe out. And you can tell when they're on the way out because yeah, the little black mark on there, they don't last forever. There is also a lot of these found in nursing homes. And if you've worked in schools or maybe nurseries, there is a lot of these type of lamps found as well, maybe in the toilets or in the bathrooms or in the kitchens, because when they first come out, yeah, they were the light to have. But these days, there's an upgrade. And because they always come inside a little IP rated fitting, they were great for being used in utility rooms in a domestic property. But the main place that I've come across them is in corridors and maybe stairwells in basically doctors and in hospitals. They use them all the time. You can always tell when it's an old 2D lamp because they flicker. You can see that when they started up, they flicker and they're trying to go, they're trying to go. It's like the old fluorescent tubes. These are basically a fluorescent lamp. And the council use these all the time. I think they specify to use them in the social housing. So they are found everywhere, all over in different installations. And basically, I think I've got one of these out by my bin. So why would you upgrade to an LED fitting rather than the old 2Ds? Well, basically, they're a lot more energy efficient. And you think when they turn them on, it's instant light, it's on, there's no flickering. Well, that is the main reason because there's different components inside of a fluorescent fitting, which you've got the choke, the ballast, to start it up to get it working. And even in some of the old 2D fittings, you've got the starter pack as well, where sometimes they, they go and it just flickers. It flickers, flickers. You see so many lights that haven't been maintained that flicker all the time. And it's normally their old 2D lamps. And the lifespan of an LED fitting is a lot more than the old 2D fittings. So where would you use a warm white light? Well, basically for me, in a chill out area, maybe in a living room or in a nursery or in a bedroom, warm white is a lot better color than you would. You don't want it fantastically bright. You just want enough light to see what you're doing. And a cool white light, that would be a perfect scenario to use in an area, maybe a corridor or in a stairwell or somewhere where you're not gonna be basically sitting, chilling out, relaxing because it will just light the way. And you can see a lot brighter light, maybe in outdoor lights, they're better to have a cool white light. Now the daylight setting, that will be used in maybe a floodlight outside. In somewhere where you want to be able to see what you're doing, you're not actually sitting there chilling out, but it's more of a cold light. So basically it turns the light on and you can see what you're doing. It's fantastically bright. And having the wattage setting inside these lamps is a good idea because you might, if you've got a stairwell where you've got say 12 lights going down, they don't all necessarily have to be 20 watts. You could have more than 10 watts or 15 watts, because they will complement each other as they're lighting up down the hallway. But if you've got one light solely on its own, then yeah, stick it on 20 watts. And I think keeping a couple of these on your van is gonna be a massive advantage than having a selection of 2D lamps, because when you go to a job, you're not sure whether it's gonna be a 16 watt or a 28 watt or cool white or warm white. You have, a, you have to carry a massive selection and as you may well know, these are delicate. These are very delicate, and when you go to use them, yeah, they're more than likely broke. So you don't need that. So with the new Mega Man retrofit for the 2V lamps, you can have cool white, warm white, and daylight, and then also the wattage settings. So basically, it's one fitting that does it all. So if you could replace this with this, wouldn't that be a solution? Mega Man have a solution. And this is a product that will replace all your 2D old fitting lamps for LED. One product that does it all. 
you can choose between 10, 15, or 20 watts. And I'm gonna show you just how easy these are to retrofit. The old 2D lamps with a new Mega Man LED 2D retrofit. And whether it's wall mounted or ceiling mounted, this is a perfect solution. So basically take your old 2D lamp out, turn the light off, and then remove the screw that holds it in place. Along with these two screws on this fitting, every fitting's different. And we can just remove the insides. And what we want to do is remove all the old cables and the old fitting. So we'll take this out. And this, because we're not going to need that. Get rid of this. And we can use the old terminations to be able to terminate the new Mega Man LED light. What I want to do is connect the earth because that wasn't connected anyway. So connect the earth, the neutral. And the live and then if we get our new Mega Man LED replacement and take this plug off just like this and wire it straight in so we've got the live in there and then the neutral in there and get that to go to the front because then we can put this back into the light simple and then put the light fitting back together like I say whether it's mounted on the wall or in the ceiling this will be very simple And then all we need to do is connect our new Mega Man fitting. And we can poke it back into there. And then these are magnetic. So on this fitting, just put it straight on. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not going to fall out. That grommet's going to fall out. It doesn't fall off. It's very, very secure. So then we just put the lid back on. Do the screw two screws back up like so and that light is a lot better than that but what we can do to make it similar to the rest It'll always be better because it's LED. We can put it down to 10 watt because that's an old 16 watt and then it was warm white. So if the customer wants to keep it in suit with the rest, we have a warm white light inside. And that saves you time and money having to replace the whole fitting. And the good thing about these as well is that the fittings can stay the same if they're in a commercial unit where they've got maybe 20 of these going up a hallway. 
and not all fittings come with a metal backplate where you can fix it to where these magnets will stick on. So what Mega Man have thought of as well is inside the LED replacement for the 2D fitting, they come with these little plates. Metal plates that can be stuck to the inside of the light fitting. Let me show you. So if you've got a light fitting with just a pl plastic back, yes, it can go straight in, but that's quite shallow and you want to bring it forward a bit. Well, that's not a problem as well because you can adjust these to bring the LED fitting forward enough to basically give off a bit more light. So then that will sit, get this level, that will sit in there, we'll connect the live and the neutral, tuck it underneath the fitting, and we'll put this one on daylight and 20 watts, so at its max. So how much better is this going to look than the other lights? As you can see, that's a 10 times better light than what this 28 watt lamp will give out. So the Mega Man LED will actually do for every scenario. So the Mega Man 2D retrofit light, the scenarios that will be good for is basically in a domestic where people have garden lighting and they don't necessarily want to change the lights just because the lamp's gone. If they've got them old 2D fittings, retrofitting with the Mega Man 2D replacement. And on a commercial environment, I know that when you go to the doctor's surgery and you walk up them stairs, there's about six different color lights and half of them don't work. This would be a perfect scenario for a retrofit of them old 2D fittings. Because the great thing about these is you don't have to replace the whole fitting. Sometimes people have spent a fortune on all these fittings and they want them to look the same, but a few of them have gone. So over time they've replaced them maybe with a different 2D lamp or a cool white 2D lamp, a warm white 2D lamp, and they just look a mess. If they could keep the same fittings, but just replace the gubbins, which is the 2D replacement Mega Man LED, then that all look the same and look 10 times better. So next time you've got a job and it requires you to replace these 2D lamps, don't bother. Make it Mega Man and get the LED replacement.